Yes, we've been following this for you all morning long, and negotiations, we understand, have been actually going on here since 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. So let's get right out to Michaelia White, who has been doing a great job of bringing us the very latest out there at this active scene. Michaelia, what's the update? Well, Britt, yes, this has been going on for more than 14 hours here at this Motel 6 behind me. This is what we know so far. So SWAT investigators, they are on scene trying to get that barricaded suspect out of the building. And we're hearing a woman is being held against her will. That has uh, not been confirmed yet by police. They have not elaborated on who that person is. Now, I know the police activity is happening actually on the other side of the hotel in room 109. I'll give you a, a live look as well at the hotel. Um, you know, you can see from this vantage point really can't get a clear view of um, the police activity but I'm being told it's happening over there now you can see people kind of standing outside their rooms wondering what's going on lots of people curious this morning as all of this activity uh, is happening here now we know police are assisting hotel occupants to leave or go to work uh, and at this time, police are asking people to avoid the area. Crisis negotiators are trying to end this peacefully. And again, I'm going to be out here all morning working to get more information for you, keeping a close eye on this situation. For now, we're live in Thornton. Michaelia White covering Colorado First. I'm sure we just want a peaceful ending to this, Michaelia, as all those people do as well. Yeah, after 14 plus hours, you can only hope that somebody will come out and they'll have a peaceful resolution. Police are working very hard out there. The very latest coming up on CBSDenver.com and CBSN. We'll leave you with a final look at these neighbors wondering what is going on. We'll try to get them some information. Thanks for joining us.